Hey, welcome back to another ballistics gel test. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're shooting 9mm from a 16 inch barreled carbine. And more specifically, we're going to be shooting Hornady Critical Defense Light. And that is a 100 grain FTX bullet billed at 1125 foot per second from a pistol. And the test rifle today is going to be the Henry Homesteader 9mm carbine featuring a 16.37 inch barrel. I've got a Vortex Spark 2 red dot on top and we're going to be testing velocity from a mere 7 feet to try and get the best rating possible without destroying my chronograph. We'll be taking three shots from 25 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot this thing and see what 9mm out of a carbine will do. And we're down here at the blocks after shooting that Hornady critical defense light out of the carbine. Let's take a look at where they wound up. I flipped the block on its side because this side is a little clearer. You can see them better. And it looks like we got about eight and a half, well, eight and a quarter, eight and a half, and nine inches respectively of penetration. Let's take a look at the velocities for that Hornady critical defense light out of the carbine. Our high was 1,337 feet per second, our low 1,291, and the average was 1,308. And here we're looking at that Hornady Critical Defense Light 9mm with the 100 grain FTX bullet as fired from a 16 inch carbine. First we'll talk about weight retention. Our average weight retention was 94 grains for an overall weight retention of 94%. That's pretty good. Respectively, we saw 95 grains, 95 grains, and 92 grains for each of the three bullets. Now we'll talk about expansion. Our average expanded diameter was 0.641 inches, and respectively, we saw 0 0.645, 0 0.645, and 0.634 inches for 1.8x expansion. So we did have quite a good weight retention and pretty good expansion. Velocity wise, we saw a high of 1337 feet per second, a low of 1291 feet per second, and an average of 1308 feet per second versus the factory build 1125 feet per second as fired from a pistol. So we did get a pretty good boost from firing it out of a carbine, 183 extra feet per second. Penetration wise, this is where this ammo just didn't really measure up and that's no surprise being that it's a 100 grain bullet that expanded quite a bit going pretty fast and our average penetration was 8 and 3 fifths inches. Respectively, we saw 9 inches, 8 and a half inches, and 8 and a quarter inches. So if you're looking for deep penetration, this isn't your thing. Final thoughts on the Hornady Critical Defense Light 100 grain load out of the 9mm carbine. This load was very interesting. We had very high weight retention. We also had a lot of expansion. We also got almost 200 feet per second of extra velocity above the spec on the box. What we didn't get is very deep penetration, but we did get some penetration between about eight and nine inches. So as far as what I would use this load for, if I wanted just sort of like a pest control load for a nine millimeter carbine, I think this actually fills the bill very, very well. Also, if you're in a situation where you're really worried about penetration, this would work as well. This is an interesting one. I might actually use it for some stuff. Hey, if you enjoy these videos, check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. The link is in the video description. And check out my channel for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.